Um, appreciate being here today, and I'm going to introduce uh, the moderator for this panel, uh, Jessica King Petrot Bittner. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have to say that five times fast after our third cocktail here in a moment, so you all pay attention. Um, as Lynn said, I'm the CEO of Balcones Resources. Uh, we're located here, our headquarters is located here in Austin. Uh, we have facilities in um, Dallas and Little Rock as well. We're an environmental services holding company engaged in uh, recycling, document destruction uh, activities and the development of uh, alternative fuels for transportation and industry. We've been involved in a in a redevelopment initiative uh, with the city of Austin uh, for our corporate headquarters at 1101 East 11th Street. We're really in the resource transformation business and, and that's really what uh, I think these folks are gonna talk about here today. Can you all hear me okay? Or is this thing cutting out? Okay. I'll try to speak more closely. We have a number of pioneers here um, uh, today who lead us to this point in our evolution where we're now talking about zero waste. And I want to just mention a few of those folks that may be in this room as well as um, uh, people who I know are speaking right now in the room next door to us. Uh, Woody Rain's with us. He, he goes back a number of years in this community. Uh, he's been with the state, been with the city of Austin twice. Uh, developed the first glass recycling contract in the city where they recycled uh, uh, barrels of glass through ACO waste back in the day. Uh, Brandy Clark uh, was here earlier. I don't know if she's in the room here, but she started um, uh, the Eco Network here, and, and uh, we had representatives from Enviro Media, Valerie Davis and Kevin Turf. Uh, of course, Lynn Chastine with the Business Journal has been a, a leader in creating awareness on environmental issues here in town. Uh, Texas Disposal Systems uh, is going to uh, have a representative speak here in a moment. They have, without question, the finest landfill uh, operation in the United States, a great uh, composting facility. and, and uh, have been engaged in, uh, as you know, the city curbside recycling business, among other things. Christine Banks is here from Goodwill. Uh, they started the uh, take back program with Dell. A representative from Dell is here, Mike Watson, who uh, runs their program on a worldwide basis. Uh, Kay Hammer from Dorson Biofuels is not in this room. She's, I believe, next door, but uh, Dorson is involved in, in, uh, with the technology incubator at the University of Texas, and they've, they've come up with a fungus that uh, converts wood waste and sugars into diesel fuel. It's being uh, uh, tested uh, right now and hopefully will be made uh, uh, commercially available sometime in the near future. Matt Harper is here with Pearson Education. They've been real innovators in what they do. They, grade tax tests, among other things, but they're in the test grading business and uh, have, have uh, been very environmentally conscious in their uh, ways uh, day in and day out. Uh, Bridget Shea, I saw her earlier today. She's in the environmental consulting business. Um, the Austin Chamber of Commerce is represented here. I've worked with Jose Becerro and some of their uh, green jobs initiatives. Uh, the point of all this is that, that we're really in town with a bunch of innovators, and we've come a long way. Uh, my wife and I moved here in 1993, and the only thing being recycled in town with respect to paper was white paper. And we were told several times that, oh, you'll never get people to do single stream commercial recycling. Well, um, a lot of those folks were wrong. Uh, we've been in this business now in Austin uh, for 17 years, and last year our sales were about $27 million. So there are a lot of folks who 
made claims about people not being able to do a lot of different things. And uh, we're on the precipice here of, of pursuing a zero waste initiative. And uh, all the folks that I mentioned, plus several more, are responsible for, for the evolution of all this. Um, we can accomplish a lot as a community if we don't mind who gets the credit. We need to think big, we need to act big, and we need to be bold, but we need to be fiscally responsible. You can lose a lot of money in the recycling business very quickly if you do the wrong things. I want to talk for just a moment here about Jessica King. Uh, she's the newly promoted manager of the City Zero Waste Plan. I've known Jessica for about three years. I've had the pleasure and pain of sitting in and through several of her presentations at the City Council. Um, they're insightful, they're stimulating, and uh, uh, she really has a, a progressive look in view.